Recently, I was strolling through the grocery store and realized that there was a bunch of miniature food. I don't know if it's a trend, but mini food seems to be on the rise. I'm just talking about a brand like Oreo creating mini Oreos. There's just something about mini things that gets the human race going. I mean, even back on the day, people would make little mini iPhones on their YouTube channels. People just <laughs> love mini stuff, you know? Miniature people, miniature houses for their dogs. Like, it's just, I feel like it's part of life. It is ironic though, because the food's getting more mini and the people are getting bigger. That's like something we're getting that it... taller, wider. It's just, I also get mini food because I'm just gonna eat more of it. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do have a memory of being at the movie theater when I was little and seeing the Butterfinger minis and getting a pack of them and absolutely just having a full mental climax when I was eating them. I don't really know what was the appeal to me, but I remember loving them. Yeah, I remember having miniature hamburgers too growing up. I don't even know where those were sold, but... Applebee's sliders. Oh yeah, those are fun. Mini corn dogs, like, I actually am a mini person, I guess. So so now, now we're realizing that it seems like everyone across the world, just because us two, so I'm assuming everyone's like us, has like a really big memory in their head of one of the first times they had a miniature food item. I know it just being full of bliss. It's got taken to another level because when you're at the grocery store, you don't just see mini cookies. They have code names now. Fun size, bite. Those are other ways for a brand to have a mini item, but brand it more fun than just saying mini. Bagel bites. <laughs> I just was very curious, so I asked ChatGPT, the AI website, why they think every brand has mini items. Variety. I think they're just saying, like, so the brand can have so much variety. Mm. Portion control. Snacking and sharing. So it's good for snacking and sharing. Why well, am I just repeating what I'm <laughs> saying? It's repeating the exact same thing. Appeal to children. I guess it would be good for kids because it's like smaller so they don't choke and also, yeah. Yeah, because whenever I think of our nieces and nephews, their parents always do have like a little Ziploc of mini food for them at all times. <laughs> like if you go to the zoo with them, they'll pull out a Ziploc full of mini stuff. Mini cheese crackers I know, or just, something. So it actually makes sense. Mini food for many people. <laughs> this is one of the most popular mini items, mini, no, Oreo mini. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Can you imagine adding milk? These were introduced in the 90s, then they got discontinued in the 2000s, I think, and then they're brought back. Mini food has been a thing for like a long time. It's not <laughs> anything new. I actually thought, I'm not kidding, I actually thought like this probably from like 2016. They feel like an Oreo. I don't really notice like a difference. Mm, smells like an Oreo. Is the fluff to cookie <laughs> ratio the same? That's one thing I did think. <laughs> that maybe it has less filling. So if you're a filling boy, you might not actually like the mini ones. And everyone's a filling boy. Yeah, who isn't? So actually, I think you might be better getting regular Oreos with the filling ratio. I do like how it's bite-sized, but I don't mm. taste it different. Tastes difference. the same. People on the internet claim it tastes different. Why do mini Oreos taste significantly better than the original size Oreos? Someone did a video just trying the mini Oreo 10 years ago. <laughs> and the first comment is, I love these baby cookies. Somehow they taste better than the original ones. They basically say what you said. What if you had them like cereal? Obviously that would be delicious. I want to see a video though, but that still looks so good. That, oh my gosh, like that actually looks... Oh my god. <laughs> That's also in a pail of mini food. You can essentially turn any mini food into a cereal. I deep dove and went on the Oreo website and compared the ingredients to this. The mini Oreos compared to the regular Oreos. Oh and no. there's literally no difference. I'm just gonna assume for 99.9% .9 of mini food, it's the same ingredients as the regular sized food. So it's all your imagination and the conclusion is your imagination is very, very powerful. <laughs> <laughs>
This is one that I didn't, wasn't familiar with. There's a bunch of mini soda. I have had a mini Diet Coke before. I don't know if I have, but this is kind of making my brain turn when I'm looking at the can. Is this the regular size in other countries? Also, I gotta say the aesthetic of it somehow is cute. It does feel um, retro to me. Why does it? Is it because everything used to be smaller? Cheers. Okay, I'm, I'm not even trying to become a conspiracy theorist, but it tastes different. Yeah, because I literally just had a Diet Coke an hour ago. I was about to say the same thing. I had one an hour ago, and this one tastes more watered down. <laughs> we were Diet Coke people. <laughs> no, we're like fanatics <laughs> of Diet Coke. Yeah, I don't even know what's different, but something's different. But I wouldn't even think anything, because like I said, every Diet Coke tastes so different. You know what I mean? They're never the same. Offering bite-sized varieties make their products more convenient for snacking and allows them to generate buzz around an old product. This is a trend that allows people to indulge in their favorite snacks on the go, but thinking about their waistline. <laughs> so, so there's two points that this um, website brought up. Of course, understand why people say that mini food could be healthier, but mm -hmm. um, I just think that when I eat mini food, for example, I'm just gonna eat the amount I would have ate if I ate regular sized food, but yeah. I just would double it because I'm eating mini food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is funny how they said though it can get hype in a product. Like, and I actually could see that <laughs> happening because I was thinking like, I actually do think I fall for this stuff because like mini donuts and stuff like that would be exciting to me. I'd be like, I wanna go get mini donuts or like even cake pops with just a little mini cake. It's just good. Making your practice Product pop in someone's eyes again, being like, wait, there's a mini version? Yeah, just, just, but I do think it has some need in society. Yeah, I actually do feel like, cause I'm even thinking about um, hot dogs again. Mini corn dogs, regular hot dogs, and footlongs, they all actually have space. Like none of them are really gimmicks. Even though some people might think they are, they just aren't. One thing that I did think of. What? Is all of these adults around the world love mini stuff. Not none, I'm not gonna say none, but a lot of these adults don't like like men with micro penises. <gasps> oh. I didn't think about mm -hmm. that. I'm excited about this one. So the brand Frito Lay created a bunch of mini chips. There's mini Dritos, mini Cheetos. There's a few others, and they copied the whole Pringles branding of putting it in a cylinder container. Mm. This one really turns me off. I never, ever have craved mini Dritos in my yeah. whole entire life. And the Doritos bag already works so well. Like, I don't want to be digging my hand down, like fisting a whole entire thing. Like, you know what people do to cows to grab out oh. the babies? Or what do they do that? For fun every day? I don't I don't know, but that, yeah. But anyway, I don't wanna feel like I'm fisting a cow. Also, it's kind of heartwarming digging into a bag of chips and hearing the... The crinkle. Yeah, this you would never hear that. Mm -hmm. And the most iconic part when you're done with the bag, you do this whole moment. But like this one is could. perfect for that. This is all gonna hit your, you just can't do the whole like, you know you have to fold it like this perfectly. <laughs> but this will just be a big circle, it might just pour on you. How do these all crack during the pinata sesh? What? <laughs> it's just a bunch of crumbles in there. I, uh, this is dumb to me already. <laughs> it's so good. But I would rather have a full size, full mm. size chip. Even if these weren't extra cracked, it's like you're eating all the little shitty parts of the bag. The only thing this is good for is closing the lid, shaking that shit up and using it as solid topping. Most mini food costs more per ounce than the regular sized. Oreos, if you get the little mini ones that I got, it's 49.7 cents an ounce. But the regular sized Oreos are 23, 0.5 cents an ounce. Whoa. So it's almost double. All of these so far I've understood. This is the first one I actually don't get. It's stupid. These ones very much remind me of childhood. I remember having these bags in the pantry mm. sometimes. They have this little animation on the back trying to make you like mini things. Number one, grab them. Number two, share them. Number three, zip them. Number four, take them. Oh, oh it does make it easier to transport. Chips ahoy. It's making me think like, maybe actually having all this mini food makes you shale more, which creates the world, makes the world a better place. Like, it's true. The only thing about mini chips ahoy is that the chips ahoy in general are already smaller than most cookies. I'm comparing oh, them to the crumble ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are like giant compared to these. This is like extra mini. Oh, this in a cereal bowl too would be so good. 
So you can have five cookies for one serving size. For the regular Chips Ahoy, the serving size is three cookies and that equals 160 calories. Oh, so these aren't really that much smaller at all. Yeah, because this is five cookies and it equals 150 calories. Huh? This kind of debunks the whole weight loss thing. Like, if you're eating the serving size, you're still eating the same amount of calories. <laughs> so I just don't really believe the whole weight loss thing, but... <laughs> Literally, what would be the point? We just thought it was so funny thinking of someone eating Chips Ahoy to lose weight. I just don't have a feeling towards this one. Yeah, I mean, it is good, but knowing how it's not even that much more mini than the regular. So there's also mini like energy bars. I saw mini cliff bars and also mini kind bars. Oh. If we're talking about like these types of bars, I don't understand it because I just know for a fact I'd always want the full size. All right, so the full size is what, like double? This one's 100 calories. In 2016, I had these every day for breakfast. Isn't the full size like probably 260 or something? Yeah, I think it's something like that. So these ones actually are mini. It's not a little gimmick. The main cliff bar already seems kind of mini. This is another example of the mini ones are 70.4 cents an ounce and the regular size is 53.3 cents an ounce. So if you're getting the mini, just know you're pay paying a premium. Of course, it just tastes like a chocolate chip cliff bar. I don't know if it's because I have these for breakfast every day for like six months, but I just don't like them anymore. Kind of reminds me of a baby. Reminds me of being all dusty in a tent on a campground. Don't make it mini. Right? Yeah, this doesn't, it has no need to be mini at all. I remember these when I was a kid and the most, the biggest reason I remember them is primarily from the packaging. Yeah, this is classic. Cause you know everyone's what? doing straight to mouth type of thing. I remember doing that with these every time I, I got so them. Like, is there like a little warning saying like, don't choke? This is an example of them being totally serious. This is mini, like actually mini. Oh, actually they're so cute. I just know eating one at a time is gonna make me so mad, but I'm gonna try to eat one at a time. Oh, I, I think this will be the first time I've ever done that in my life. <laughs> Same with Cause me. like you said, everyone always says mouth straight to mouth. I literally couldn't even control myself. I consciously thought I was gonna eat one by one, but then I just put them all in. This one I do understand because yeah. I actually like these better than just regular M&Ms. And the packaging is fun. Like just all of it works. I remember seeing these probably around 2016. And one of the big appeals was it's unwrapped. Wow, you oh. don't need to unwrap the style bust because we're so effing lazy we can't mm. unwrap the style bust. I do remember unwrapping those and like, it's sort of like an infomercial where it's black and white and you're so mad. You know when they show like how Yeah, because it always does get stuck. I, I do know, understand. Why did they hatred. ever wrap them? To not get stuck to each other or something. But then these don't. They put like a little chemical in them. Probably. Oh my God, it has red 40. Oh my gosh, yay! It's not even Star Wars. It's like a whole new candy when it's like this. Wait, I would even go as far like to say there's something different about these Star Wars. Yeah, whatever they add to make them not stick together. Yeah, what? I like the regular butter because they're way more um, chewable. I feel like I'm eating the Aldi version. I simply don't think it's needed. But then I have this memory of one of me or Lucas doing this video, making a Star Wars clay thing or something. <laughs> and I remember being so excited when I found this at the store because I was like, I don't need to unwrap all them, I just mm. put them onto a pan, so. These are kind of a movie theater type of thing, but you would never bring regular ones into a movie theater. These actually are needed for movie theaters. Rice crispy Treats. We all know that they had the little like fun size ones, but these are actually the mini ones. Like they're puny. Rice crispy Treats are so good. Wait, it's a little the perfect puny. bite. It's even smaller than the package. It's really just a bite. Yeah. Everyone who buys these has like five next to them on the couch. This makes me understand mini food because it feels like you're eating way more. Like let's say four of these equals the individually wrapped one that's the mm. normal size. It feels like you're eating more if you have four of them, but that's it also true. weighs so much plastic. Mm -hmm. This one's just literally just a, a gimmick. It's yeah, dumb. Yeah, because even though the original one, like I already view that as mini, so they don't really need an extra mini one. Couldn't agree more. This is kind of surprising to me. 
Droop waffles, I've had like the full size ones on planes before, but they have mini ones, like even Droop waffle. Like this isn't, this isn't like one of those Kellogg big ass brands. Oh, they yeah. are making a mini one. You, you know you said some of these might be for kids. This one isn't for kids. Like Droop waffles, like a full on adult brand. It doesn't remind me of kids, no. It reminds me of like businessmen. As we're getting into this video, my mind is getting warped and I'm starting to think mini food is, is like the regular size. Oh. So when then when I see the mini, one, I'm like, wait, there's one, there was a stroop waffle bigger than this? Like, I actually thought that for a second. Oh. <laughs> it is delicious. If as a society we're gonna keep creating mini foods, I thought of the perfect branding. A variety pack of mini foods. So a variety pack that has six items, a mini stroop waffle, a mini Oreo, mm. a mini Chips Ahoy, like that would be a better idea to me rather than having them each individual. Mini feast. Yeah. So I've never seen this brand, but I didn't, but I should have burst out laughing when I was at the store. Mini granola. This is literally a granola bar that they put into bite-sized pieces. I would eat, just eat a granola bar. I know, it's actually, this is actually one that is stupid. Regular ass granola bars are so easily transportable in your bag. So why do you have to cut it up into little mini things and put it in a pouch? Now when you open it up, it's gonna spill everywhere. Like it's just causing stress and anxiety. And there's nothing different about this one. Like it has the same amount of calories, same size. Yeah, it's just, I guess now that I see it, I kind of get it because it is kind of cute that it's in a ball. <laughs> you know, you could even say like, what's the point of a macaroni and cheese ball? But like, it's just a vibe. <laughs> this like whole vibe of this brand is sort of like healthiness and <laughs> it doesn't taste like a regular granola bar. It tastes like a health one. I just know for a fact I would never ever get a granola mini. Mm. I'm just gonna get the granola bar. Just isn't it. <laughs> This is miniature. I one of these mini foods been around for my whole life. Mm. When I when I was at the store and I saw Reese's miniature cups, I actually didn't even know they cowed them that. Like I thought they were. Oh yeah. Like I didn't even really put this in the realm of mini food. Mm. Everyone got these for Easter growing up, but then again, not everyone did because not everyone grew up Christian. So I apologize for what I just said. <laughs> Before even trying it, this one I totally understand. Oh, yeah. Like I don't even have to explain why I understand it. It just is understandable that they created this item. Yeah, every different variation of Reese's is, they all need to exist. Yes, it's the exact same thing. But I actually view but, this as completely different than a regular Reese's. It's a whole different product, a whole different brand even. Cause the ratio is so different. Mm -hmm. The ratio to peanut butter, peanut butter chocolate ratio is so different. Such a thicker layer of chocolate. Yeah, these actually taste better than regular Reese's. These are the best Reese's ever. This is mm. making me even more for mini foods. Like I think they yeah, those blowing the genre. Yeah, those are amazing. I just can't believe that our whole entire lives, we've been basically raised to like mini foods. Oh yeah, I not, didn't know about these though. Oh, not the little dubby ones. We always had, I think the brand is like Untold Lanes or something, those little mini muffins. The blue ones. These mini muffins, I'm just kind of torn off by the little guy in the front. Yeah, why is the muffin man there? Groomed to like mini <gasps> food from a young age. We actually because were. Because we always had these mini muffins. This is gross. It's so crumbly. No, these, I, the aesthetic of the blue one, blue, the blueberry ones is better, right? Yeah, these these little mini little dubby ones are just gross. It's like a ball sack energy. <laughs> <laughs> I am 100% behind the idea of a mini muffin. I just don't think Little W should be doing it. I'm not kidding, that's the best thing we've had in my opinion. That tastes so good. Would you like it if it was regular size? I think I actually prefer it mini because it's fun popping them rather than having this big thing crumbling, you know? Mini muffins makes 100% sense because when you see a regular muffin, they're huge. Mm -hmm. Mini stuff only makes sense if the regular product is huge. Yeah. Mini Oreos, regular Oreos are way bigger than this. Chips Ahoy, regular Chips Ahoy aren't even that different, so it's dumb. These are way different, but they suck. So my, so my theory isn't completely true, but that's why I like these. Yeah, these are actually very cute. Okay. All these little candy brands are making mini ones and they're also unwrapped. 
So those two and ones happening. I do think I had these growing up though. Oh, I, I didn't know they, yeah, they have been I'm pretty sure mom when she would go to the grocery store sometimes, sometimes she would bring these home. With the whole mini candy thing, I do think like it makes yeah. people shale more because let's say mom brought home one Kit Kat that was king mm. size. You already know one of us would have grabbed it, hit it under the bed. But if she brought these home, I feel like it's just for some reason innately, you know that this is for everyone. It's mm. not just for yourself. This is the way it always should have been. Like there never should have just been one little Kit Kat. Like it always should have been in the bag. It makes so much more sense. And also Kit Kats are so boring. Boring mm. as shit. The only way they're good is if they're mini. But the only problem is they do look kind of like crusty since they've been banging around in the bag, you know? They are not cute. A lot of these are still stupid, but yeah. I think a lot of them are still excellent. I would say I already was a mini food person, but seeing specifically this pushed me down a little bit on the meter to not being into mini food. There's a trend and all is going well, but then one person takes it just one little smidge too far and it can sort of ruin the whole thing. <laughs>